time for Behind the Short Line. I've got top women's handball player Katrina Casey with me. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Players' Championship, wrapping this whole season up. How do you feel like it's been for you? Um, it's been good, yeah. Uh, I'm sad that the season has come to an end already, but I'm happy to be here in Portland. It's a great city and great facilities here. But um, I suppose I got off to a shaky start at the US Open, and it was disappointing to lose the final. Um, 11-9 in the tie break, so I feel like if I'd done a few things differently, obviously could have changed the results, but um, came back then and won New York, and hopefully I'll get a win here this weekend, but we'll see. Talking a little bit about that, that was against Ashley Riley. She's here as well at this tournament, wasn't in New York. I know you had the All-Ireland, though. How much, how big was that win against her as far as being able to kind of have a little bit of a get back after the US Open? Um, it was huge, yeah, especially after the Worlds as well last August. So um, the All-Ireland Championship, like, is our biggest tournament in Ireland, and it's kind of prestigious, like. Um, and we had met in a f the previous two finals. It was my fourth final in a row, and I now have won two and lost two. So um, it meant a lot to me, definitely, yeah. Coming in, knowing if she's your person in the finals, do you look forward to that, or is that kind of in the back of your head, like, okay, I gotta really take this one now that we're two and two? Um, I would definitely look forward to it, but I wouldn't, uh, take my place in the final for granted because there are some great players, it's a great draw um, for this tournament and I know that Sienna is on my side of the draw so she's a tough cookie and we'll see what happens but hopefully I'll make the final. Can you talk about some of the ladies? I know you always, you know their game so well because you're always at these things, you've played all of them. Give us a little bit of a taste of some of the top ladies and what you respect most about their game. Yeah, well, uh, I suppose I'll start off with the Irish players. So Ashling is very strong. Um, she has a great back wall kill, good serve. Um, Sienna would be kind of a similar player, again, physically strong. Um, just very athletic, like I know she's good at any sport that she tries. Um, then, of the American players at this tournament, I know Danielle got the number two seed um, because she's had a very consistent season, like, and she's usually making the semis. Um, Danielle and Sandy and Tracy, they're kind of difficult to play against because of their one wall style, so they're very um, aggressive players and they attack everything and cut the ball off. And Danielle in particular can kind of hook the ball on her serve, which is um, unusual in the ladies game but a good asset to have um, and then you've Jessica Gawley from Canada so I hope I'm not forgetting anyone but it's definitely a deep draw anyway. What have you learned from those players who play the one wall who play the outdoor wall what have you learned from them been, been able to take over to Ireland and kind of put into your game? Um, yeah well I'm trying to attack the ball and take it on the fly more but um, like I feel like I kind of have the shot down if I'm practicing by myself just in a skill session, but then it's more like your um, mindset really. Like if you are a bit too reluctant to take a step backwards, which is what I'm more comfortable doing. So you have to really um, practice a lot in games, trying to cut it off and you'll make mistakes like, but that would be the main thing I'd learn from them. So give us a little background on you. How did you start playing handball? Who got you into it? Um, well, I started playing when I was eight years old, and my brother John, who's a couple years older than me, he started playing at the time as well, so I just wanted to try it out. We kind of always had a bit of a sibling rivalry, so anything he did, I needed to do too. So um, I was always kind of into sports and maybe a bit of a tomboy, but uh, handball really um, appealed to me, so I just got hooked on it and uh, made my first trip over to the US when I was 14 for a junior's trip to Tucson and then once you know those travel opportunities came about I started training even more and just kind of really dedicated myself to it. Your brother now what does he say that you're number one? <laughs> well he's um, a good support for me he came to my All-Ireland final now and my sister and my parents as well but um, he doesn't play handball anymore unfortunately but uh, yeah he's happy for me. What about handball do you think makes it click for you? I mean, you're number one, so what is it about you that just makes you love the sport so much and giving everything to it? Um, well, I just think it's like an exciting game, fast-paced. I kind of like that, you know, you have to be physically fit, but um, it, a lot of it is to do with like your tactics and strategy as well. So 
Uh, like, you know, you don't have to be the biggest or tallest or, you know, most strong to win. I like that. And I just kind of work hard at it and I still have a lot of room for improvement, but I'll keep trying anyway. Now dating one of the top men, Sean Lenny, what have you learned from him and his game? Um, well, we're very different players, definitely. Uh, like his style of play is very unusual. And uh, he gives me some advice, like he would be more aggressive normally than me as well. So kind of to go for more kill shots rather than playing it safe, that's a big thing. And um, yeah. <laughs> People get to only see him on the court. What about him is different than off the court that you get to experience? Um, well, maybe on the court he can get a little bit worked up sometimes. He's pretty laid back off the court. Uh, I guess that would be the main thing. Yeah, he still enjoys playing like when he's, you know, expressing himself on the court. But sometimes when things aren't going so well, he can get a bit frustrated. But um, yeah, he's good fun off the court. I've been able to do New York together in all these different other locations with handball. What's been your favorite? Um, my favorite location? With him, as far as ben oh, adventures yeah. go. Um, I don't know, New York was fun, yeah, I'd been there before. Last, actually, at the, after the US Open, we went on a road trip to the Grand Canyon on the way back to Tucson, and then I played in the Tucson Pro Staff, um, even though it was just a men's tournament, but I played in a few different grades at that, so that was a fun trip, yeah. Speaking of that, you have tried to qualify for the men's tournament, how does that go now for you? Where are you at with that? Um, well, it was fun. I tried uh, last season in San Francisco and New York, and I played okay. I didn't obviously qualify, and then I tried again in Tucson, and I felt like it made sense in Tucson because I wasn't jeopardizing my women's bracket because there was no women's tournament at that event, so I was able to kind of give it 100%. And, um, I liked in Tucson as well that they we played off for 17th place, so I just missed out on 17th place by a few points against Ryan Bowler, so I felt like I had made progress from the other tournaments. So m hopefully I'll try again maybe next season. Best of luck here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks.